Demonstrations continue in Nigeria after the government removed petroleum subsidies and the price of fuel spiked by 100 percent. That has led to widespread anger in the country, and residents have filled many Nigerian cities in protest. Today, police fired tear gas on protesters at a sit-in in Kano, northern Nigeria, according to the Associated Press. This comes as Nigeria's main trade unions announced plans for a general strike and mass demonstrations intended to paralyze the country's economy. FSRN Samuel Lokoya reports from Lagos. They have declared war on the people of this country. Yes. But we will only tell you, anybody, any leader, any government that declares war against its own people can only be at the receiving end. Yes. For many of those who joined the protest, the government's decision to remove petroleum subsidies is nothing but a declaration of war against the Nigerian people. Many key cities across the country have experienced protests over the past few days. In Lagos, Protesters, led by members of the main workers' union, the Nigerian Labour Congress, shut down petrol stations for increasing their prices from about 45 cents a litre to about a dollar after the removal of subsidies. Rufus Olusheson is a union official. Any police station that is selling above the, the road and conventional price, which is at 65 naira per litre, should be shot. And... By and large, they are aware of the consequence. And what it implies is that any, any filling station that not, cannot comply with that amount, 65 naira per liter, is going to face the action of the people. And that's what we have done rightly. This is just to kickstart the struggle for the total emancipation of the working masses in the, in, in the hands of this capitalist, never do well government led by Jonathan. The anger of Nigerians against the fuel price increase is expected to reach a peak next week with the commencement of an indefinite general strike. Key components of the economy are expected to shut down, including banks, the oil industry, seaports and airports. Many Nigerians, like Yemi Folari, say they support the strike and protest because of the hardship the fuel price increase has caused. I had to buy 30 liters of fuel for 4,200 naira. Like, that's more than 100% increase. I mean, the taxi that my wife normally takes for 800 has suddenly become became 15. Um, coming down here, a trip that normally takes me 600 became 1,002. So prices are doubling. My fear is that when market women have to go restock and transport costs are high, it's going to have a knock-on effect on food prices. But the Nigerian government says the plans to shut down the country's economy will worsen the plight of the people. Labaram Marko is information minister. It will be of greater harm to the people of Nigeria for labor to continue with a threat to strike in spite of uh, the continuing discussion, dialogue, and the measures we are taking uh, to ameliorate the pains that our citizens are going through now. Even though Nigeria is Africa's highest exporter of crude oil, the country imports fuel because its refineries are not working. The government has for years been subsidizing the imported fuel, but now it says it has to stop the subsidy so it can free up funds for other sectors. But in the face of widespread official corruption, many Nigerians do not believe that the government will use these funds wisely. Sam Olukoya. FSRN, Lagos.